Hello Canadian gardeners, cold climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, we take that science and we apply it to all things gardening and plant care. So if you like the sounds of that, hit that subscribe button down below and join our awesome crew. Now, as you can see by this incredibly sad corn plant, the intention behind what this video should have been is it should have been all about planting corn in containers. But instead, it's turned into a video about how my dog ate my corn plants. So on my Instagram, I had a question from one of my followers asking whether or not it was time to cut her losses when it came to a potato plant that was eaten by deer. And my response was, leave it. You're not going to use the container for anything else. It's way too late in the summer. So just leave it and find out what happens. So today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you all about when to cut your losses when it comes to damaged plants, whether it be from wind, animals, or just an accidental mistake in the garden. And when you're probably okay just to let him ride it out and you may still end up with some fruits and veggies. So as you can see, I have a corn plant here and on this corn plant, I have zero leaves left. And it was because my dog decided he wanted to have a snack. So instead of scrapping the entire container, moving on, throwing it out, I decided to keep this eyesore in my garden because I thought it would be a good video to show you guys. So initially when this plant was eaten, all of this was gone and I decided to leave it. And now about three weeks later, I am actually starting to get some corn cobs. So I have my inflorescence at the top. I have my cobs forming on the bottom and I even have some new leaves kind of starting to help with the photosynthesis. So how did I know it was okay to leave this plant and it wasn't a good idea just to simply compost it. And the reason why I kept it is because it still had greenery. Because the stock on this is able to photosynthesize, I knew it still had energy coming in from the sun. I knew if there was still energy, there was still the potential to gain some cobs off of this corn. Now, this did affect how I fertilized. I fertilized less because there's less of biomass to take care of above ground. I also have been watering less because there's less foliage to fuel and therefore less water being used. However, there's enough photosynthesis happening with just the green stalk and the formation of new leaves that I will have cobs on this corn. So when do you cut your losses with a plant? Well, it kind of comes down to what kind of damage has been done. If you have greenery still, leave it. You may still end up with fruits and vegetables. I would say if 30% of your plant is still remaining, you're probably okay. The main thing is, is if the stem is still intact. If all the leaves are gone, then you're probably going to be fine because you can still regenerate leaves from the stalk and the stems. If your stem has been snapped, um, pretty low down it's probably time to call it quick quits but if the stem is snapped a little bit farther up depending on the type of plant it is you may still end up with a plant so i'm going to get you a little bit of a closer view to kind of show you what i mean by that so here is my corn stalks where the stalks were not touched but the leaves were so you can see i have my fluorescence at the top and i have viability all the way down so this corn stalk i knew was going to be okay and i could leave because my main stem was not damaged just a lot of my foliage was now if i come around on this side you can see that this plant here has some inflorescence starting lower down i do have some new leaf growth and if you stack it up beside this guy I would say around a bit over 30% of this stock is still viable and remaining even after the dog attack. So what does this tell me? I should leave it and I may end up with some sort of flower or cob after the summer is done. This guy, however, he is under 30%. And as you can tell, there is not much happening here. I do not have any inflorescence. I don't even have new leaves and he's 
pretty much entirely toast and that is because he's under that 30% that this guy was on. So if that makes any sense. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully it helps you gauge your garden a little bit better and what you should scrap, what you should keep. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you've had any blunders this summer with wildlife or the world around you that has caused some destruction in your garden and whether or not you decided to keep it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.